Hey right, guys, Gary aka okay, Hopeless back again. In today's video we are looking at how I painted this really badly lit Necromastiff from the uh, Animal Adventures Secrets of Gull uh, Gullet's Cove. Look at that camera reflection. This is the, from the Enemies of Gullet Cove box. Um, I've print, uh, basically done a longer video on this and I've been doing shorts on the uh, zombie kittens, zombie kitties. They're up on the channel. I'm not sure how shorts really work. I don't even know how they really get pushed, but they seem to be being watched. Um, yes. Anyway, yeah. Necromastiff. I quite like this one, even if my camera refuses to focus on it. Anyway, anyway. Here it is. And, uh, yeah. I'm continuing my journey into using and learning oil paints so uh yeah there's a there's a few i may i'll clean it up in a minute i am mainly ugh, learning and getting used to using these on washes so far which i'm actually having quite a lot of fun doing which is surprising also means I kind of need to get a new hobby rack just for oil paints and I don't really know what I'm looking for in that sense. In any case, yes! Secret of Gullet Cove Necromastiff. Let's go. Now if you've watched enough of my videos you'll know that I always start off with a black primer, undercoat and then white xenophil highlighting, always using Liquitex Titanium White Ink. I don't know why, I just really like using that one. In any case, I tried basing this dog on a photo which will be popping up here, but obviously he's a necromancer, so I wanted him to look a little bit more pale and evil looking. Uh, footage, as uh, you might notice, is a little bit speeded up because I'm still trying to work out the best way of putting out videos at a decent time. So this is Pale Yellow from Monument Hobbies. Literally everything apart from the oil paints is Monument Hobbies today, which I'm quite happy with. Moving on to the ears, muzzle, tail tip. That is Light Umber. Very normal markings for this breed of dog. Although I do kind of add some very goth-like eye makeup towards the end of this. Which I think is, uh, it's nice. Yep, there it is. Almost goth-like, kind of clown looking. Just, just realising that, looking back now. I also quite like the fact that he's got a little parrot on his shoulder. I say parrot, yeah, it's probably an undead crow, but uh, at this moment in time, it was a parrot. His robes slash cloth were dark purple. Again. It's, I don't know why, I'm just always picturing necromancers and evil wizards wearing dark purple. I realise I think I painted the bard with a... No, no, he do was a light purple hat, but that's okay. It was a warlock I did with a dark purple. Subliminally evil? Maybe, who knows. But yeah, dark purple. Which was good. The sort of leather armour undercoat bit, uh, it was nice and simple, dark golden brown. For the weird neckless brace thing, I wanted a nice bright red and that was bold pyrrol red. But I'm looking back, I'm not quite sure why I didn't just do like the bones and the skulls first. That might have been a bit quicker to do, to be fair. But we got there in the end. Yeah, cause as soon as that dried, I went to start going all of the bones and skulls on the necklace and the uh, undead crow on his shoulder. This was with ivory. For the bags and the bottle on either side of him, I went with bright neutral grey. 
because in my head at this point I was hoping that the washes would uh, have such an effect. And then I realised it was actually a little bit of the bag poking through a hole on the back of his uh, back of his cloak, which was cool. I like little details like that. Right, first time out with the uh, oil paints using just a nice black and a lot of uh, mineral spirits. I will admit I had been watching uh, uh, this new guy on YouTube. I think he's it's totally not panicking. I'm very interested in the way that he uses oil washes. In the sense of... It just dips straight into the pot with the mineral spirits, and I find that absolutely interesting. So I am trying to uh, do my best impression of him here. I think it kind of works. For the bottle, I use yellow okra oil paint. A little bit thick, but what I'm... Oh, and the, uh, and the pouches. What I'm actually liking about the oil paints is that if I do mess up, all I have to really do is dip my brush in the mineral spirits, uh, spirits and... Uh, yeah, just just take off the paint, and it doesn't hit the uh, acrylic underneath, which I'm pretty sure most people have seen and heard by now. For the fur, I went and tried mixing up an oil mix of uh, burnt sienna and black paint. Um, uh, to start with, it went on quite heavily, but again, going back over with the brush with the mineral spirits, evened it out a little bit, so it's not quite as uh, strong. While the fur was drying, I tried to make up a slightly different black and burnt sienna mix, maybe a bit more heavier on the black side, to uh, sort of wash over the leather. And then essentially dry brushed mineral spirits over it so that the, uh, the, the high points on the armour went back to their nice light brown rather than the... Uh, wash. I'm just playing about at this point to be fair and I actually really enjoy doing stuff like this so um, yeah. Once I actually know what I'm doing I might actually be able to do something really good. While all that was drying uh, the, uh, the the black wash over the, the bones had uh, pretty much dried out by this point so I just started going over with uh, Pro Acryl's Copper just to try and uh, Catch the eye on the necklace. Didn't realise how fiddly this was going to be. But I'm getting there. It took a lot longer than I thought it would. Moving on to the base. It was back to my AK Interactive's neutral texture for rough terrain acrylic. Quite like this. A little bit of a pain in the ass to put on. More so with the uh, these models that are, are built... You can't take them off the bases without really cutting the bases apart. And I don't really want to do this. This is this is like a game for me and my daughter. She loves it. But yeah, got the uh, the terrain down, let it dry, and then totally forgot to press record when I came back a few hours later. Yeah, I forgot to uh, record the first bit. This is back on the oil paints. This is Payne's Grey and Sap Green sort of being mixed in together to give a very in my head, a very mossy look. And I think it kind of works. Maybe. Uh, to be fair, I had to go back over towards the end of this and start mopping up where I'd put too much uh, mineral spirits down. But uh, no, I think the end result was quite good. And then when all of that had dried, I put uh, a little bit of a tuft down. Made it look not so barren in his little mossy cemetery patch but yeah i like it i really do i'm actually quite surprised at how um how well that came out also bearing in mind i did kind of forget to do a wash or anything over the robe but where the oil paints are sort of spread out i think it looks quite nice so that is the necromastiff from animal adventures enemies of gullet's cove box i don't think he has a name he doesn't have a name from us because uh, we we haven't used them yet because obviously I've been hiding all the minis away so that uh, we can play properly at some point. I'm definitely going to be looking into using oils more. I'm quite liking the wash effects. Um, yeah, 
like I say, I love how the uh, the bones come out. I love how the furs come out for a first attempt, first proper attempt anyway, of using more than one colour. There he is. Looks nice. Oh, for the eyes, I just went over with a fine liner pen because the eyes are tiny on this figgy, uh, figgy, on this mini. So um, yeah, I wasn't going to risk having to redo everything. In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Um, do you use oils? Do you have any tips? Let me know. Do you like the model? Do you not like the model? Do you think the paint job's alright? Do you think it's crap? Let me know. Like I said, I like getting comments. I don't get too many comments. But that's because I post so little that my the algorithm just doesn't like me. That's, that's how I'm thinking. But in any case, that's me rambling again. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Gary, aka Hopeless. And uh, yeah, if you like what you see, subscribe, check out my shorts. I'm trying to put some of those up a couple of times a week. Kind of working. Kind of depends on how quick, how much time I can get in here. Rambling again. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, until the next video, hope you all have a great day, week, time, year. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.